I hate football. Hello, lads and ladies, and welcome to this now. I don't know what I have just witnessed, but I am fuming. So, this could be a bit of a scrambly bit of a video, but we'll get through it. Hello, lads and ladies, and welcome to this now. My match review of Fleetwood Sound 1, Wigan Athletic 1. Now, Fleetwood Sound did take the lead through a screamer through Danny Andrew in the 28th minute. A great goal and his first goal of the season. He's always capable of getting three or four from that range and uh, scoring a few set pieces as well. But after that, I thought we could have got a second and Madden was unlucky not to get one. I thought we had good involvement between Mackay. I thought he was bright. I thought Morris looked bright as well on the wings. And then half time came with one nil up. I thought, you know, things are looking good. Let's go and see this out, get maybe a second goal and then, um, you know, defend it a bit. And then um, try and get on the counter and get a third. But it wasn't to be. Wigan, I thought, to be fair, to be defended well. And the second half, they came out with a new identity. And... Um, they were the better side second half. They asked questions. They pumped balls into the box. Even without having a shot on target until late, I thought they were always going to get a goal. And then we brought Whelan on. We brought um, Hill on. And we brought Duffy on. And uh, we brought we brought, we took Morris off. We took Mackay off. We took Coots off. So already then, we've lost our dictator in Coot. And we've lost probably tied. so I don't mind that. Whelan's a like for like. And then Morris and Mackay that I'm bothered about. Hill's a good player. I'm glad he came on. He did well when he came on. He's a very good young centre-half and will get better. And Whelan, again, good player. But the two players that we took off, I'm, I'm baffled with. Because why are we trying so hard to defend onto that 1-0 lead? Why not go and get a second goal? And then you can defend it a little bit more. Because then you've got a little bit of breathing space. Then they will come at you a bit, bit more because they know they need a goal sooner than, sooner than ever. So... What happens, we again, we're time-wasting, we're literally every time they come into our box, we're launching the ball out, and then we launch it up to Madden, I thought Paddy Madden was my man in the match today, he was superb, probably should have scored at the end, but even so, he was very good, he won every header from Wigan's corners, pretty much, apart from the last one of course, and uh, he worked hard for the cause, he had pretty much zero service, and... Um, was he worked hard on scraps really and really worked hard to chase the ball and Cam's tried to help him but by the time Cam's came forward because he was getting back so deep to help the defence out he was already back with us so Cam's had to get back again so I don't get that much I get we wanting to try and offer a 1-0 but leave a little bit of attack threat forward because if they're going to come and attack us leave a bit of pace up front to get them on the counter and then that opens gaps Mackay you know Morris might not be the quickest maybe bring Tom Edwards on bring Burns in a more of attacking position I think we went 3-5-2 at the end or 4-5 5-4-1 I'm not sure what we did I think Burns was definitely playing right wing back uh, Burns had a couple of chances that uh, crosses could be better but he did well on the right and um, again, 77 minutes look like this time waste. I said it on my stream that we're going to concede here. They're going to come at us. Time waste and never gets you anywhere. And we've learned that at Sunderland away. And what happens? Time goes on, minutes tick by. And you just think we maybe just maybe scramble this win. Then we get a load of set pieces, we get a load of crosses coming into the box. We deal with them. And then, 91st minute, a cross comes into the box. It's a good save by a look by. I don't know how he kept the first one out. It did very well. The rebound, I think, it just scrambles in off Crankshaw. He gambles uh, the young lad who came off the bench for him. I think that was that, like, they were only, I think they only made two changes. I think he was the first one. So he came on and made a difference and scored. I think it was like a loop and header. And it went in. The limbs in for, it, for Wigan. And, um,. Again, what happens then? Oh, we, we decide to have a bit of attack then, a bit of a flurry. And for me, I like winning 1 0. If we were against Portsmouth, if we were against Peterborough, if we were against Sunderland or Blackpool or, you know, these sides that will go, we'll be there or thereabouts at the end of the season, I wouldn't have minded it too much. But we're going to have a great football club, don't get me wrong. But for me, you should be looking to really attack them. And get a second goal. They lost final to Rochdale the other day. They did beat Arkansas and they did beat Sunderland. So they have beaten some good sides of late. They also beat Doncaster early on in the season. Also beat Portsmouth early on in the season. So it's not that bad. And they are a decent side that are getting better. 
uh, under Richardson, Liam Richardson. But for me, that's an absolute disgrace conceding at home. You cannot defend like that for 35 minutes. You just can't. The tactics... There might have been reasoning for him, but the tactics were poor. We sat back, we allowed him to come on to us, and he scored. And we, we deserved it. That, that was coming to us for time-wasting, for the tactics, for sitting back, letting us come on, boofing the ball forward, not taking care of it. We were poor all, all around, I thought. I thought, first off, we were OK. We huffed and puffed. I think we, they, they might have the wind behind them second off. I'm not too sure why they changed, but... No excuse, we were poor, we should have been a lot better and I'm fuming, I'll be honest with you. Rumour Christmas, thanks a lot lads, but I'm just hoping we can bounce back. A 1-0 win wouldn't have been too bad, but there's still worries in that dressing room. We've only scored three goals in six games, scored 9-2 in two before that, or 11-3. in three. So our team's worked us out, I'm not happy with that. Conceding the 91st minute is never wrong and if one team were going to win it, they were going to win it. Uh, we had a chance to be mad, but they had a couple. But absolutely fuming, you cannot hold on. For 35 minutes at home. You just can't. It's criminal. But there's my rant. I'm absolutely fuming. I don't understand why we did it. But we move on. We go on to crew. Let's hope we can win there and get back to winning ways. Because that was not nice. And I hope Barton gives them a bit of a rollicking. And I hope the lads learn something from that. I hope Barton maybe learn something from them. Because I love Joey Barton. I think he's a top manager. I think he'll go far. I think he'll, he could go, go to a higher level. But those subs I find peculiar. You've got... Son is on there. If he's not fit, why is he making the bench? Shaden Morris again could have come on with a bit of pace. But since Hunter left, we've got no pace at the club, which is a shame. But there's been my video. I hope you'd enjoy it. I hope you have a very nice Christmas. I will be back on Wednesday for another Spurs against Stoke Watch Along. So make sure you join me for that. Until next time, I will see you later up the cods.